In this video, b is going to walk you through how to create a client brief using your Google account. Let's get started. Let's get started. First, go up here. Go down to Drive. Create new and go down to more options and go to Google Forms. Then first you need to create a title. I'm going to call it B Designs Client Brief. Now let's take a look at the settings. First, the pink palette. And here you can customize the form to your liking. You can create an image header. You can change the header color. But I'm going to keep it at purple match my logo. Then you can change the background color. Then you can change the font of the text. Then the preview lets you see your finished form when you're done. Then here are the settings. You can have it collect emails, but, all, but I'm going to put a question in for the email so there's no reason to check that. Then you can check the box so it's limited to one response, which means the people you send this form to can only submit once. And down here, you can create an automated response that will respond to your clients after submitting the form. So in here, I'm going to put thank you for the response. Now up here you can make this a quiz. But this is a client brief so I'm not going to check that. Then come down here and press save. And then up here you can send the form to your clients to through email. Then you can have it collect the emails in a separate Google Sheets. And then you're able to share it to your clients through social media as well. If you don't want to use email, you can use Facebook or Twitter. Then here are more options. Okay, now let me show you tools of actually creating the form. The plus sign allows you add another question and the T lets you add another title. And here you're able to add an image that you can upload. Allows you to upload an image and here you're able to upload a video through YouTube. here lets you add another section of the form. 
Now let's add a description. Here you, you will explain what your company is, and in here I usually put how many revisions we offer with every design project and the extras and the costs and the average time that you would receive the design. Now let's add a question. Here we're going to ask the name. And here we're going to switch it so it's required, which means they cannot submit the, submit the form unless they answer it. And this is where we're going to ask for email. And now let's start adding some questions. Now typically, Google Forms automatically switches from short answers to small, the large answers, the paragraph answers to multiple choice within the question you're asking. Now let's add a multiple choice question. So add a title. And now it's automatically multiple choice because of the question that I'm asking. Now let's add the questions. So I'm asking, is this a personal design or for a business? Then with the multiple choice section, I'm able to put personal, startup business, or company, or organization and they choose Now let's add a long answer question. And now, as you can see, for some reason, Google Forms didn't automatically change the question format. So I'm gonna go in manually and change it to long answer, to paragraph answer. Now a lot of times, Google will automatically have suggested questions but you can do or you can manually type them in. Now let's add a question that requires you to put in a date as the answer. Now since Google Forms is automated, you can just put in what's the deadline and it'll automatically make the response to the question as date required. Or like, I re like I've said previously, you can go in manually and change it to date, rather than paragraph or a short answer. Then you just keep going through and pulling in questions you would like your clients to answer to help you Now, if you'd like to use any of the questions that I'm asking in my client brief, you're more than welcome to use them.
Now, if you ever add a question that you didn't like or a section that you didn't want, you can always delete it by going in by going to the trash can and pressing delete. My client brief is now done, and now you can see red stars beside all the questions that I've marked as required. And now here, at the top of the form, you can see responses. And here you can actually see your client's responses to the answers. You can mark it as accepting responses or not. And here, as I've mentioned earlier, attach a spreadsheet to collect all of your clients' emails and names. Then there's more options here. And now since the form is done, we can preview the final form. If you got value out of this video and you want more videos on how to use Gmail, to grow and further your business, consider subscribing and smashing that like button. And remember, if you dream it, we at B Design can help you design it. Keep on dreaming. Bye.